Boyele Shore has reacted to the disbandment of SARS and reviews the next line of action. For the past weeks, there has been a massive protest staged across the country seeking for the dissolution of SARS as a unit of the Nigerian police force. The protests are necessitated by the fact that a good number of the personnel of the special anti robbery squad SARS are guilty of extrajudicial killings of innocent Nigerians. Youth from different parts of the country took to the streets protesting for the disbandment of SARS. Hmm. Omoyele Shiore, the former presidential candidate of AA, was a frontliner in the protest and participated in the protest staged at the police headquarters Abuja. The Inspector General of Police has announced the disbandment of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS, and pointed out that the men of the unit would be deployed to other police units. Reacting to the announcement, Omoyele Shiore declares that it is not yet Huru. Shiore reveals that the next line of action is for the protesters to remain vigilant and strive to end the system that enables impunity. According to him, this aspect is necessary so to so as to well be dismantled. Hmm. And he tweeted, he said, as earlier revealed, IGP Adamu of the Nigerian police has announced the dissolution of SAT, but it is not yet Uhuru. We must remain vigilant, strive to end the system that enables impunity. That too must be dismantled as well. Thank you, revolutionary citizens. Keep moving. Hashtag revolution now. Some people actually reacted to his tweet, and someone says here that he uh, hates him or loves Shore. He just wants a better Nigeria that works for everyone. If he doesn't care, he will remain overseas with a crossed leg and watch. I love you, man. You are an inspiration. Next step is good governance. Nigeria, Nigeria youth underestimate themselves. Yes, I love him forever. He won my heart the first day I heard him speak. He spoke as a leader. You see, my fear, SAS officers will be redeployed to other units. The name ends, but the criminals remain there. Not much will change, but the citizens have made a strong statement. And that is our win. Our eyes are on the other units they have been redeployed to. Our voices are very much alive to shut them down again. We will keep fighting till they get it right. No sleeping on this. How about roadblocks, police brutality and illegal arrest by police? Anyways, I'm still inside church doing uh, my own thing. Okay. Um, is this not an audio ban? Because this number three to me will just be a change of name. Whereas they are still same, same criminals, same murderers, murderers with different names. This should not be the case. The new units will be against armed robbers and other criminals. As long as they don't disturb innocent people, we are good. The hashtag answers fight was not really against the existence of SARS, but against the atrocities committed by SARS officers. Just like SWAT, there has, there has to be a squad. Uh, and police extortion. No more citizen killing. Don't ruin our future. Stop intimidating youth. Arrest corrupt officers. Refine the police. SARS must end. And that is a the acronym for end SARS. The new units will be against armed robbers and other criminals as long as they don't disturb innocent people. And also let them keep let Nigerians let the youth keep watching. Just like somebody said that oh in their church that the elderly ones are saying it is those who are criminally minded. They are the ones that are saying and has answers. I don't think those people who are saying that and somebody say oh those who are of that uh, the old generation they believe that it is the youth. But go and ask some other older people as well that their their children have been victims of all of these things. You know some people speak you know out of ignorance and if you don't seek knowledge you will not know. You will not know. So, like we've all, always said, just like she always said, this is not time to go and sleep because everybody must still be watching. You know, when it comes to Nigerian government, when once they tell you one thing, you just have to look at it thoroughly and be vigilant about it. Just the same way they talked about a Ruga the other time. At the end of the day, 
they since then they've been coming with different different tactics different different style to just be able to inculcate this a rugal of a thing but the more they come out the more people begin to see the loopholes and they know that these guys are just trying to bring the ruga back again so nigerians it is not over or it is over and in other areas too we just have to be we have to be vocal because we can't continue like this people are people are just going outside the country going through water going through all this a uh, uh, sea and people just they they, they 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 ruin their lives over there if people want to go outside the country you have, you have to go in a grand style you have to go in a grand style when people they see you they will respect your country not that not going through a, a, a abnormal way because of what because the country is not yet settled and the so-called leaders are living at the expense of a uh, the the youth so we need to demand for good governance demand for good governance that is the way to go because some people believe that uh, they are comfortable in their own way so when you talk about all of this is but no matter how rich you are in this country you are still suffering because some things that you're supposed to just get easily you begin to suffer you begin to get stress yourself you spend and spend and spend and spend no matter how rich you are because you cannot be taking uh, driving maybe you are going to another street or you are going to another town where you are going to encounter a uh, gridlock especially in lagos <laughs> you can't say you are you are so rich to the extent that you are not going to be driving that is where you now know the re the re coco you now know the real thing uh maybe if you are living in a place that is well secured once you leave the place once you go out are you going to be the indoor or in that your estate that your fine estate, you are going to be there forever. You must still go out. You must still go and meet those people at the other side. You meet them and they, you will not see the reality in the first place. Why is it that a Nigerians cannot be proud of their country? When they get outside the country, they begin to look at them, you know, uh, uh, somehow begin to suspect them. Those are the things we are talking about. Those are the things we are talking about. In every society, we always have crime, but those who are serious with their job, the government, those governments who are always serious with their job, they always make sure they bring it to the barest minimum. But in our case, it's just a free fall. Anything goes. And that's why we're having problems. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's just a out of selfishness, greed, and insensit insensitivity because you don't you don't care about other people because you believe that say, you are okay. So now that the man has said, don't go and sleep. This is not time to sleep. It is not over. Everybody must be uh, at a lot. You must be at a lot to make sure that uh, these people, if they want to come in another form, they will be able to tackle them. So guys, leave your comment below and let us have your take on this.